My, uh... Dr. Hunter? You were supposed to have Mr. Bolton's scans delivered to me, yet I am still waiting. Radiology promised they'd have it here before five. Yes, and I don't have them. You need to get them to me. I'm sorry. I won't let it happen again. I will go follow up right now. No, there is no need to be sorry. You're here to learn. I'm here to teach. Okay. And listen, you are showing quite a bit of promise, so you should let those other interns know they should watch out. I'll be sure to tell them. Matt, I'm so glad I found you. I'm working. But at least you're speaking to me. Maya, how would you like to observe Mr. Bolton's surgery tomorrow? Wow, something smells amazing. We were totally going to wait for you, but then the... The, uh, the pasta, actually, it cooked too quickly. I, oh, I, to I told her that this thing, for some reason, the stove cooks way faster. I don't know why. I mean, yeah, I, I, I really didn't want it to get mushy, so I served it. I hope that's okay. No, of course. I mean, I'm the one who's late. Um... I actually ran into Carly on the way over here. How's that for coincidence? Wow. Did you uh, say anything? I might have mentioned that Dante thinks you're a rock and singer and she should hire you at the Metro Court. And what did she say? That I should be an agent. I can't sing, but I can sell. Seriously? Mm hmm. Wow, that is great. <laughs> Lulu, I mean, you're awesome. Well, it's not a lock, but you know, she wants to talk to you, so. Well, hey, that, I guess you can have some wine. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, you can really cook. This is incredible. Oh, thank you. But actually, Dante helped me. Yeah, right. I did. <laughs> I did. I remembered the secret recipe. But, let me tell you, it's only because his Nona, she stole that recipe from my grandmother. It's wow. Ours. Actually, yeah. my Nona got it from her mother, who brought it over from the old country. No. It's not Megan Cinnamon. Oh. Oh, oh, look at that. Nice going, idiot. Now it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> All right, don't mind us. It's just a, an old Bensonhurst feud. Needless to say, we both <laughs> equally created this amazing meal. Here, you mm. want some cheese? Oh, this is what I like. A man who waits on me. So, um, anyway, Brooke, if, if Carly asked you to audition, you would, right? Yeah, of course. I would do anything. So. I was just telling Brooke that... Uh, if she decides to stick around, that would make three people in this great town that don't want to spit on me. Oh, of course. It's all about you. Yes. Hello, <sighs> Foxy. I need a drink. Some white wine. Oh, Chardonnay. Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. You know what? Screw it. Make it a martini. With extra olives to my uh, peacock's feathers, maybe? Mm hmm So what's got you so tense, baby? Uh, sometimes I look at my employees and I think I am their mama swan, and they're all my sickness. They're utterly helpless. All they can do is look at me with mouths gaping, squawking, feed me, show me, send me. It's a burden. Nothing gets done right unless I do it myself. You have very high standards, Miss Kate Howard, but unless you let those little birdies spread their wings, you're never going to learn to fly, girl. Well, I'm not going to lower my standards. Hell no. Hell no. Come here. about the tension you're feeling? <sighs> Hello, big man. Any news on the Michael front? Uh, do you mean, have we figured out a way to get him released? Something that will not have my license to practice law revoked? No, not yet. Maybe I should bust him out of the joint. <laughs> Honey, you're soused. I still have feelings. So do I. I have a confession to make. Oh, all right. Well, then, why don't you pass me a dollar? We can make this purely professional. That way I can detach a little. <laughs> Michael's known me most of his life. He trusts me. He, dare I say it, loves me like an uncle. And you love him. You have a soft spot in your heart for both of Sonny and Sonny, but especially Michael. Great kids. I relate with Michael, you know, because of my own dad and Milo. Honey, you're a very good influence on those boys, but what's the confession? Michael asked me to get him a special present for his 18th birthday. A hooker. <laughs> what? 
a, a prostitute, a working girl. He'd been in that coma for a year. Everyone around him had grown up. He felt left behind. You know, he was worried all the other guys had it over on him, experiencing girls and uh, sex. But Michael got a DUI on his birthday, and I told him I would not get him a prostitute while he was grounded. What a good disciplinary. The upshot is Michael trusted me. That's why he came to me. This stays between you and I, right? Sweetheart, I'm the queen of keeping people's secrets. I, I never did get Michael a girl. Franco came to town and everything went to hell. You know, I thought about it at the resort, but I get nervous. Well, that was a good instinct. You were supposed to be guarding Michael. I think you're missing my bigger point here. Michael went to prison never having had cardinal knowledge of a girl, uh, of a woman, of a hooker, anyone. And it's my fault. Honey, you can get Michael his birthday present when he's released. And if it's five years, I'm a terrible uncle. Is that I should have just gone home. Okay, but you knew I was waiting here with a drink. No, 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 no. I'm talking about months ago to Bensonhurst. Same reason. Uh, Why don't we play some pool? You can take Ada on the cube. You think? You think we're gonna sit here and pretend that you didn't almost die today? Please, John. Please, before my head explodes, tell me that you're not gonna keep provoking Sonny into this war. So the truth, Sonny. Did your thugs confront Johnny on the street? Today? Thugs. Do you watch those old Humphrey Bogart movies when you're alone at night? <laughs> Go bus, okay? Bodyguards, whatever. I don't really care what you call them. Did your guys rough up Johnny today? I did, you, I did what I told you I was going to do. Make Johnny angry enough, stupid enough to come after me, which isn't very difficult to do. And then you step in and arrest him. Assuming I'm in the neighborhood when it happens, what if Johnny pulled a gun on you today? What are you, what are you worried I might have died? It's very caring of you. No, 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 I'm worried about the excuse you'll need to kill Johnny in self-defense and then claim you and I had an arrangement. Johnny would be one more dead thug to you. Make your life a little easier to Don't live in. Don't do it again. Okay, I won't do it again. How about we try it this way? I let Johnny land an illegal shipment Okay, Un right under my nose. He thinks he's, he's, he's doing something to me. Okay, then you come in and you bust him. You send him to prison so he can sit with his old man. Don't and they can make, have a great time in there and everything. Don't make the mistake of using me as the all-purpose enabler. I will not be manipulated into finessing John Zakar's murder. So I'm supposed to let Johnny shoot at me and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to defend my own life?